Hey gamers, what is up? It is your boy Jake here. And today I'm going to be showing you what I got from Vision Tech. So this is the Vision Tech Mystery Box GPU. Well, actually there's three of them. I ordered the $20 PCI Express one before that quickly sold out. And I ordered the $5 AGP one and the $5 PCI one. Now, you're only allowed to order one of each one and I ordered three of them. I didn't order the five or ten dollar PCI Express one but there might have been some interesting stuff in there so but oh well it was only thirty dollars so let's dig in. I got my box cutter knife from Harbor Freight. As you can see generic cardboard box nothing too special. First time I'm opening this so nothing staged nothing nothing like oh my god um Nothing's already pre-planned or staged like in half of these unboxing videos of mystery stuff. No, no, no. This is 100% legit. And I'm going to show you what I got. Because actually a friend told me about this. He was like, dude, there's going to be some interesting stuff in this box. And I'm like, well, shit, you're right, so I better do it. So here's the uh, box. And as you can see, um, this this year they've managed to put three boxes in here and say mystery box, mystery box, mystery box, mystery box. So let's get this out of the way. So this box isn't in the way. And mystery box, mystery box mystery box. Not bad. They've actually started putting them in mystery boxes because, I mean earlier they didn't even put them in these special boxes, but let's dig into them. So they're all unlabeled, so let's go in to the heaviest one of them. The heaviest one. I wonder what this is going to be. Okay, this is a Radeon, um, I'm going to put this box over here, so this is a Radeon X1300 AGB XGE or whatever the fuck that means, I don't know, but this is a Vision Tech 512 Meg AGP GPU, got it for 5 bucks. and I know two years ago people were getting like 3850s out of these. But this is an X1300. I don't know anything about AGP GPUs, but it's probably okay. I mean, it's 512 megs for an AGP GPU. Okay. Let's, let's do the second heaviest box out of them all. Well, they're both, those two boxes are pretty light. Let's see what this is. Um, so this is, the, this is the $20 PCI Express GPU. And... Looks like it has display port and this weird connector on it. Don't know if you can don't know if you can see it. But it's got display port and it's got this weird connector on it. This is a Vision Tech uh, what's it say? Uh, 7750 it looks like. A 7750 one gig VHD card, it looks like. So, probably not a bad card, but I'm going to have a little bit of fun with this card in a few minutes, but this is actually, it, it's a low profile, but it has a full height bracket on it. Not bad, not bad. Actually, put this box over here, and now let's look at the PCI card. And this has got to be the PCI card, because the one I got was the AGP and the, uh, I got the AGP and I got the, uh, PCI Express already, and this is the PCI card. It looks like a DMS-59 card with that high-density connector. Um, hmm, I actually can't read this. A 3450 PCI. 
with the DMS-59 connectors. With, uh, probably 12 megs of VRAM. Okay, this wouldn't be bad if you were trying to upgrade an XP system or if you were going to be me and toss this in, I don't know, a deck alpha or something. I mean, I mean, if I ever got around to that deck alpha project where I actually got a working deck alpha station, I mean, I, I would have to replace the bracket with a higher profile one. But I could always pop this thing into a deck alpha and um, get this going. I mean, that, that's kind of why I went with the PCI GPU. I mean, I knew there would be some weird system I could throw a PCI GPU in and have a ton of fun with. I mean, I could probably use this in a deck alpha. I could probably use this in uh, in one of my in like some old Pentium 4 piece of junk that's nice but only as PCI. I mean, but then again, I think every half decent P4 had AGP, and to be fair, this AGP GPU would be a better fit, but I don't know, an X1300, it does seem, does seem slower than a 3000 series, I don't know about you, leave in the comments what you think. But yeah, this is a, this is a, uh, so right here we've got our, uh, 7750. Uh, we've got an X1300. And we've got a. Um, Thirty-four fifty. So all three of these GPUs, not exactly some of the crazy stuff people were getting two to three years ago, where you had people like when this promotion started, where you had people getting like thirty-eight fifty GPUs in these card boxes. But you know, this GPU might be a little interesting to screw around with if you get what I'm saying. I mean, I do have, a, like, a, some systems I can throw this in to have some fun with in it, so, eh. Maybe, maybe stay tuned. I'll see what I'll do with this. What systems should I throw in these GPUs in? I've got, like, a Pentium D I could throw the uh, PCI Express one in. AGP, not so sure. PCI, that, that I'm holding on to for some projects, but leave in the comments what you guys think. And thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.